Stop it! Stop you it, stop Rudolph! It. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to give you a better you for 2017. Thank you, girl. Uh, there you go. And you I love and that my skirt. Wife ganging up. Thank on you. Me. <laughs> ganging up on you. Okay, so we're taking it back to the planet. Okay, these are all plant-based ideas for you to continue your 2017 healthy and brighter. Compliments of Meal Garden. Let's go over to the cook set. Squash me. Okay, so we're talking about resets as opposed to resolutions, people, because by now, you probably They're failed. Let's just <laughs> <laughs> Kiki Athanasulius, yes. here with us from Meal Garden. Okay, so you've got some fantastic ways to kind of reset plant-based, right? Exactly. Okay. I've put all of my favorite recipes into mealgarden.com. Yeah. Uh, really makes it easy to schedule them, to work with them. Um, so a lot of my recipes revolve around squash because it is it. such a versatile ingredient. Cool. Um, so here we have a roasted kabocha squash. Okay. I've roasted it in the oven for about 45 minutes. I'm going to get you to go ahead and start scooping out the right seeds. Um, we'll put them in here because what we're going to do with the seeds is not roast them, but soak them to make a milk. Cool. Um, squash seed milk. Why buy almond milk when you can make squash seed milk yourself instead right. of throwing them out? So you can scoop out both of those. You'll soak them overnight, eight to 12 hours. Okay. Um, so go to bed, wake up in the morning, rinse them out again, and then blend it all up with about three to four cups of filtered water. Okay. You can add pure vanilla extract. Ooh, that acts that as good. a, yeah, it, it's a nice a flavor, flavor enhancer. Yeah. And also it'll help keep your uh, seed milk for a little bit longer. Um, and then you'll liquefy it in the blender, and then as you pour it out, you'll pour it through one of these, a okay. nut milk bag. You can find these at a health food store or a grocery store, mm -hmm. and that will bring you a nice, cream, smooth uh, squash seed milk. It'll take all the grit out, all of the pulp. And you can um, pour that over whatever you want to serve it with. Yes, exactly. Um, and do not forget about the pulp either. Uh, don't throw this out. It goes great in dip. I have a Get great- Get out of here! Yes, I have a great um, squash seed pulp dip uh, recipe in meal garden.com it's got cannellini beans avocado oil lemon juice um, it's just as healthy as hummus if you okay. don't believe me you can check the health rating on mealgarden.com <laughs> we have uh, full nutritional analysis for everything uh, so imagine serving this instead of hummus at your next gathering fantastic bound to get people talking now <laughs> you definitely have some people thinking about hopping onto the website to check this out but you've exactly. got a little something special for our good day viewers yes I'm really excited um, you can get all of my recipes and uh, meal garden access for a full year for just $14 um, if you use the promo code good day. Excellent. So easy enough to remember. All right, we're going to link all that information to our website, gooddaysacramento.com. Show information and the date for today, and you'll get more details on that. Stick around, because coming up in the next hour, we take it over to the Melinda. What yes. is she smoothing up? That's oh, coming up. We're, we're getting squashy. <laughs> squashy. <laughs> Love getting squashy. Uh, now, take a look at this picture, because yesterday, uh, Kiki treated us to a fantastic lunch. Oh, yes, Bethany and did. I had this. Um, oh, my gosh. So it was so good. good. So she did spaghetti squash, and on top, she With did like, kind of like, like a macaroni and cheese. Yeah, a cheese vegan based. macaroni and cheese. Yeah, it was so yeah. Good. Oh but it gosh. was non-dairy mm -hmm. um, with some uh, mushrooms and some zucchini. And then right here on the uh, the right-hand side of the plate, that is a shrimp of uh, tempeh, which is higher in protein than than tofu. Um, very tasty, and then a little you know a little green nosh to go along with it. So here's my thing: meal garden is a tool, right, mm -hmm. that you can incorporate <clears throat> into your life. I suggest, if you stick around the next hour, how you incorporate this into your fitness regime as well, because we've got some experts who have uh, chimed in on that as well. Oh. All right. Meal Garden. All right. Ask for it by name. You know, I, she really, she blew my mind, Kiki. Yeah. She She's really, amazing. she impressed me with her skills in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, things that I had never tasted before, like yeah. that, that, the stuff that she was saying you can replace with hum, instead of hummus. Yeah. Courtney, you remember that? Like that white dip? So good. Delicious. Oh, all right. All with the squash. Wow. So good. Thank you, Courtney and Cortisha. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that that Courtney has a twin. Yes. Oh, twin. that was Cortisha. That was Cortisha. Did. I, I have so much to learn. Segment. So much. Sorry, to we forgot to tell you. Courtney that. and Cortisha. My bad. Sorry. Hey, enjoy <laughs> some of the best cuisine <laughs> this week.